So let's move on to our last challenge. This is the Redeemer challenge. So click on the click on the challenge. And the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to spawn the machine. So click on the green button to spawn the machine. And while it's initializing, I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup over at uh, So I'm going to remove some of these files that I've been accumulating. And I'm also going to move into a temporary directory. All right, so let's go back to the web page. And hopefully it's going to finish initializing soon. OK, so our target machine has finished initializing. So the first thing we need to do is we need to copy over the IP address by clicking on it. So click on this, and the IP address is going to be copied over to our clipboard. We're going to go over to our terminal. And the first thing we want to do is we want to ping the machine to make sure that it is uh, responsive on and on our network. So we're going to do ping and then dash C4 for four count and then the IP address. So this is going to send four ping packets to the target machine. And if we receive, uh, if we receive packets back, then, um, then we are considered to be able to communicate with this machine. So that's great. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to use the nmap command to determine which open ports are available on the machine. So we do, we do nmap with the dash VV for very verbose, which is going to give us some output before the, uh, the scan return, um, the scan finishes. We're going to do dash T4 for four concurrent threads, which is going to make the, um, the program run faster than it normally would. And then we're going to specify which ports to scan, in which case we're going to do dash P dash, which indicates every port on the system. And then we're going to paste in the IP address, which is the target. So we're, we're going to run this command over here. And it's going to run, it's going to scan all the open, all the ports on the system to see which of them are open. And we, it is uh, reported here that uh, there is port six, Three seven nine available on this target. So six three seven nine. We're not. Uh, that is um, not a typical port that you see. That is uh, you see open on um, on a server. So let's let's investigate what uh, what that particular service is. So because I've done this before, I'll tell you that there are no other open ports on the system, so we can abort um, the nmap scan. And then we can rerun the, the nmap scan to enumerate that open port. So to enumerate the open port, we're going to give a very similar, very similar command to the last command, except that um, if this time we're going to run against port 6379. And we're going to give it the, the SC flag uh, to see if there are any scripts so we can run against this particular service. And then we're going to do the dash S capital V to get the version of this particular service. And of course, the last thing we need to do is supply the IP address. Okay, so the, uh, the result of the scan has come back and the port is 6379 and the service is reported as Redis. So Redis is a type of, um, is a type of database service and uh, database services uh, record a bunch of information inside of them. So it says here specifically that this is Redis key value store and this is version 5.0.7. So we're going to come back to this later. But uh, Redis is a type of um, is a type of 
database, um, kind of like uh, SQL databases, SQL databases, except that um, the interesting thing about the Redis database is that it's uh, that it's an in that it runs inside of computer memory, which means that um, the database uh, returns results extremely quickly compared to traditional databases. So um, let's let's use a particular command that was meant to interact with Redis to access this um, to access the service. So the command we're going to use is called Redis CLI. Uh, whenever we use Redis CLI, we're, we need to use the dash H flag to indicate which um, the IP address or the um, or the URL of the service that uh, of the server that we want to access. So in this case, we're going to paste in our IP address, and this should let us interact with the uh, with the Redis database. Okay, so after after we run the command, that we see that we're connected at this particular IP address on this particular port. So the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to. We want to select a particular database, um, in which case uh, we want to select zero to select the first database um, on the system. And then it gives us the OK. And then we want to see what's inside the database. So we're going to use the keys command. And keys, um, keys star is going to return all the keys. So we see that there are four keys located in the database. Uh, there are there's temp, flag, num, and store. So so the obvious choice as to which one of these uh, which one of these keys is going to be the objective for this uh, for this exercise is going to be flag. So we're going to get flag. So we're going to get this particular key. And the value of the key is what we're looking for. So this is the this is the uh, the value of the flag that we're that we're looking for in this exercise. Uh, before we uh, before we submit the flag, let's answer the rest or the rest of the questions on the web page. So it says here which TCP port is open on the machine. So the uh, the port that we found was. 6379. The next question is, which service is running on the port that is open on this machine? So if you remember, the name of this service is called Redis. Next question, what type of database is Redis? Choose from the following options. One, in-memory database, or two, traditional database. So I told you just um, just earlier that uh, Redis is a type of in in memory database, which is different from a traditional database in that it uh, runs a lot faster than regular databases. So we submit that as the answer. The next question is, which command line utility is used to interact with the Redis server? enter the program name, you would enter into the terminal without any arguments. So we used a particular program to interact with the, um, with the Redis database. It was called Redis-CLI. So that's the answer. Okay, so the next question is, which flag is used with the Redis command line utility to specify the host name? So remember, when we used the Redis CLI command, we had to use a specific flag to specify the host name or IP address, and that was the dash H flag. Next question. Once connected to the Redis server, which command is used to obtain the information and statistics about the Redis server? So this is something we skipped over, but um, this is the info command. So info is the answer. 
Okay, and the next question is, what is the version, what is the version of the Redis server being used on the target machine? So if we look back at our Nmap scan, okay, I'm going to copy the value of this flag, and then I'm going to exit out of this. Just a second. Okay. So the version of the um, the version of the Redis server was 5.0.7. Okay, so that's the answer. 5.0.7. Next question is, what command is used to select the desired database in Redis? So this one is the answer is this word right here, select. So we used um, the select option to select a particular database. The next question is how many keys are present inside the database with index zero? So when we looked at um, when we looked at the database, there were four keys located there. So the answer is four. The next question is, which command is used to obtain all keys in a database? Okay. This command is keys star, and this is going to ret retrieve all the keys in the database. Okay, that's the correct answer. Okay, so finally we need to submit the root flag. So we copied the root flag earlier. I'm going to paste this in and I'm going to submit this as the flag. Okay, so that is the end of this particular challenge. So Redeemer has been completed. So before we finish up, let's, uh, let's review what, uh, what we did on this particular machine. So we scanned the machine using Nmap and we found that there was a, a particular port open on the server after we enumerated the um, the open port with Nmap, we found that it was a Redis database. So we used a Redis specific program to interact with it, the Redis CLI program. And from there, we were able to enumerate the uh, we were able to see the uh, the contents of the database, and it contained a number of keys. There was a key called flag which we guessed was the, uh, was the objective for this particular challenge. We read the value of the flag, and then we were able to finish, finish the challenge. Okay, that is Redeemer finish. Hey there, Hacker Frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.